Hi, Alessia Cara. Hi. Nice to you? see you. Nice How to see are you? you? I think we've met before. Yes, yes. I was here a while ago, probably like a year and a half ago. Yes. Something like that, yeah. And so much has happened since. First of all, your new single came out this past Friday. Yes, yeah. That's A. B, mm -hmm. we world premiered the song all day on Kiss 108 on Friday. I know. They just told me that. That's yeah. so awesome. I still haven't heard it on the radio yet. Can you believe no it? No way. No. I get, like, I've been, I guess, just running around. I haven't had the chance to listen to the radio. Because so you get that a lot, you know, over the years, artists will say, oh, I'll never forget the first time I heard my song on the radio. Yeah, I haven't heard it yet. I'm still waiting for the first time for this one. Can we play it now? So, no. Actually, you know what? When <laughs> you're, like, no, when you're driving it. back to your hotel, will you be spending the night in Boston? Or? Um, no, I'm actually driving, I'm driving out to, where are we going next? New York. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, because our, my countdown show is live tonight. So while you're driving back, put Kiss on Wait on or iHeartRadio, right. and, I can listen and you'll to hear it. your song. Perfect. Okay. Because we, we are, happen? in fact, uh, featuring it on the countdown. Thank um, you. That's and awesome. I know I read somewhere you said it's about uh, growing mm. and overcoming sadness. Yeah. Yeah. Where's the sadness? Um, the sadness is, uh, for me, I think very sporadic. It happens like just sometimes for no reason. Sometimes, of course, it's circumstantial. You know, I'm 21 years old. I go through a lot of like weird emotional, personal stuff. Um, but I think I think it's just such a normal thing for all of us to feel that sometimes, and it's more common than we think. You know, there there are times where we just kind of feel down, and we don't really know why. And um, mm -hmm. I think it's actually comforting to know that there are other people who feel the same thing. And so if I could speak about it in my music in an open way, hopefully people can can take something from it. Well, know? I think that's probably one of the great things uh, about social media. Mm, uh, yeah. Do you find your yeah. fans looking to reach out and, and, and talk about some of their sadness, knowing what your message is? Or? Yeah, 100%, uh, which is a really, really awesome thing. I think, you know, when, when you're going through something like that, it's like hard to imagine other people feeling the same thing, mm -hmm. especially when your circumstance is very rare, like mine. Um, but you, you start to realize through talking to other people that we're a lot more alike than we think we are. So it's, it's really nice. And I hope I can help them and they help me just as much so it's nice uh, we're actually featuring two of your songs on my countdown tonight obviously stay was a monster hit and oh, still thanks. is <laughs> Thank um, you, yeah. talk about that song a the making of mm -hmm. and B, the aftermath so to speak the success of it yeah um, so it was written by um, Nuni Bao, Sarah Ahrens um, and both I mean Zed produced it um, and he, Zed, actually, we met at like a, an award show and I remember him telling me about the song and him um, wanting me to, to, to feature on it and, you know, lend my voice to it. And um, I was like, I'm always weird about like not doing things that like I am not a part of, like the, the creative process mm -hmm. of, I guess. Um, but I heard the song and I loved it and I thought it was such a cool thing just to be able to part, to be a part of something uh, different from anything I'd done sure. before. So I took a chance and I just, I just recorded it and I loved it and it worked out so yeah and it, it must be flattering when people come to you and say I've got mm. a song and I really would like you to do it for me yeah of course I like, got of all people that could have done it you know the fact that he thought of me it was like very awesome and crazy in a, in a really good way so I'm glad I'm glad it worked what's your favorite song in the world right now and oh, can you sing a verse Oh my gosh! I mean, well, you're like us. I mean, yeah, you're a recording star and a, you know. Yeah, well, let me. Songwriter. It's my um, favorite song in the world, like in the whole world. But you must have your own favorite songs that you drive around listening to. Absolutely, I'm I'm a music consumer before anything. Um, I really love John Mayer's new song, New Light, which is really cool. Are you laughing at me for liking John Mayer? No, no, no. It's my <laughs> producer Justin. He makes fun of me all the time because I'm a huge John Mayer fan. Oh, have I you heard New Light? I went to his most recent concert tour. Absolutely. He's amazing. I yeah. love that song. Okay. He was laughing at me for liking John Mayer. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can you sing a verse? Yeah, sure. Would you sing it with me? I don't no? know it well enough to sing it. You right. really want me to sing along with you with that well, I mean, if you love him too, melodic voice of yours? Go ahead. Okay. This is Alessia Cara oh, no, this is doing live. John Mayer. Here we go. Take a ride up to Malibu. I just want to sit and look at you, look at you. What would it matter if your friends knew? Do you know the rest? Who cares what other people say? Do. Oh. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> we should have been like, finish that lyric. Thanks, guys. God, you have such a nice voice. So oh, nice thank to hear. You. Welcome Thanks back so to Kiss Concert. Thank you. Have some fun. I think Thanks, you've got to go warm up your voice or something. Yeah, or do something like that. All right, some weird say thank thing. you to Alessia Carr, Thanks, everybody. Thanks, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you very Weird. much. Thank you. That was, that was fun. fun. Thanks so much. Thank you. All right, Lisa, 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 L